The wiring style is a mixture of DHR and CDC. Uh, the tying method is quite simple, easy to tie. It's a good wee pattern and it floats extremely well. So now, the hook I'm using is a size 14 barbless dry fly hook. This one's by Partridge. You could many companies out there that make barbless hooks and dry fly hooks. So just choose what one you like. Now, the thread I'm using is a uni thread. In this case, this is a light K-Hull in 8.0. I'm going to run the wax through the first 5 or 6 inches or so. Start the thread at the eye. Just going to work my way down until I just get to the point before it goes around the bend. And then remove the base piece. The tail, is this is a white and cock de Leon. It's a nice grey colour. A nice strong fibre. Just bring it 90 degrees from the feather. Now I've got a good half a dozen or so there, so don't be shy with the fibres. Length, at least the length of the hook and a wee touch more, it's, in, it's up to yourself. You catch it basically by having the fibres on my side, holding the tail length. Bring the thread underneath these fibres and use that turn to lift and separate the fibres. Keep the fibres on the top as well. You can see there how it spreads these out. And that's fine. Now the wing, I want it. I want a, I want a nice body on this. So look, looking right, right about two thirds of the way up. I'm going to tie in. This is a strip peacock quill that's been dyed. In this case, this is actually fluorescent yellow. It's a nice bright colour. Just put a wee point into it, just to catch it. Just offer it to the side. Then keep this as tight as possible. Don't want any steps or lumps and bumps. So when the thread turns touching. So work your way up to this point here. Make sure it's clean. Now to protect the quill I'm winding over some super glue. You could use varnish, whatever you like. Just watch you don't put too much on. And then you're looking nice straight turn at the back and then touch and turns with the material work your way up get a lovely quill effect cross your thread nice and tight, tie it down now this is a simple dressing, it really is now you'd allow that second to dry just just in case any of the super glue come through or even if it was varnish again you could as well Coat it with a varnish, it's up to yourself, but that, that's fine, that lasts. I have no issues with that. So Now, the wing mix is a CDC, and uh, this is a roe deer, quite dark. I like the darker colour, uh, especially at the beginning of the season. Don't need a lot of fibres, just enough to form part or half the wing. Now, if you cut it, and then you want to twist the fibres away so they separate and remove any broken ends or the under fur. Because what I'm going to do is stack it. Small stacker here. I'm going to put them in tips first. Tap it on my desk. This will line the ends up. So what I'm going to do is just put a wee bit of wax on my thread at this point. This gives it a wee bit more grip. Tidy up. Come back down to this where the quill finishes here. Tying the deer here, tie it forward of the eye, so there's the lined up tips. Just remove them from the stacker. Length, you're looking at least the length of the shank tied forward. You're looking for a couple of turns. One, two, let this let the ends go, and then get some CDC too. Natural or even dyed, it's up to yourself. Or even just a single feather would do. It's entirely, depending on how heavy they dress they want it. So I've got two small CDC feathers. Now what I'm going to do is just lay one on top of the other with a natural curve. Line up the ends. Now what I'm going to do is then draw these fibres forward. 
and the length is much the same length as the deer hair. Just tie this on the top with a reasonably tight turn, tighten up a couple of times. And then what I'm going to do here is lift both the cut ends or both ends so they're together. Spreading these fibres, especially the deer hair, just flatten them back with your fingers. Bring the thread to the front, a couple of turns, to draw it back, the thread to the back, trapping these in, nice and tight. Then get some, in this case I've got some natural dubbing. Just a mix of rabbit and fox squirrel. And then lightly dub it onto your thread. Slide it up. And then you're going to do some turns behind the wing. Nice and tight. Tighten when you need to. Got a couple of fibres there, but don't go chasing them too much. You'll be there all day. Make sure it's nice and tight. Lift the wing. Turns in front. Again, nice and tight in towards the wing. You thread through the dubbing as well. Anything going forward, you can draw it back with your finger and then trap it back with the turn of thread. Keep the thread tight. I'm going to put a bit of varnish on my thread at this point. Just about maybe a centimetre from the eye. And then what finishing, this will lock it in. One, two, three. Plenty. Tighten up. What I do is put my nail Onto the eye, pull the thread, especially on a fine wire hook, you don't want to break or bend the wire. Then, what I like to do is just set the, the wing, the tips of the CDC and the deer hair forward, just out of the way. Come up, and I'm going to trim at an angle, it's quite a steep angle towards the hook, so it tapers. Nice straight cut. Bring it back up, and there you go, that's your mix. And then, obviously, any of the fibres you may have caught, you can trim them away. You've got there is a nice blend or mix of the D here and CDC. The spread, it's nice, it sits on the water really well. And uh, produces both in rough water and just in calm water. What a nice little light presentation, this is a good pattern for that and because of the mix of the CDC and the deer hair it just lasts that wee, uh, lasts that wee touch longer than the CDC itself and with the mix of the softness of both it's just a good combination you can't go too far wrong with. There we are. And that's basically the small CDC Comparadon mix. It's the winging method I wanted to show you, it's quite simple, uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. And tie them up, I'm sure you'll catch plenty of fish on them.